voices don't find her. Why? Why? Ready? How? Someone, please help me. Don't worry, the belt buckler is here. Uh, where is he at? Not forget it. Dorian, Brian the Legend is here. Alright, what do you need help with? Alright, get on, get on. I'll make a tutorial right now. Just see you guys there. Uh, hello, everyone. Today, we're gonna do another CV2 tutorial on how to make World UI save. And then, when you join, it will save on top of your head. So. Basically, I made a um, YouTube short about um, in variable cloud variables and stuff because I actually had trouble with that. Um, Lava Lava actually said, "Brian, is this a reference view with the badges?" It was, it was not actually badges. It was um, titles of World UI thing. But yeah, so we're gonna go over how to save World UI. So it's gonna need a string string variable and you have to make a cloud or do I if you don't know how to do it don't worry the tutorial will help you out and first we do have chapter so you can skip over um so yeah if you know how to do this then yeah all right let's get into it first you want to get your maker pen go to padlet and then you want to search up world UI so world UI all right scroll down so you see player world UI itself so it looks something like this, like a little constant. So then you want to go to tools, configure, configure the world UI. Then you see primary bar and all that stuff. Disable all these, A enabled, animated, secondary bar enabled, turn that off, animate, turn that off. Text, um, you can make it whatever you want. Make sure you enable it as well. You could change the color as well. I'm going to change the yellow and... All right, then we're gonna make it. Hello, you can make it whatever you want. And then you don't have to do anything about this. All right, so if you want to enable or display on top of your head, you get a display display player world UI fit. All right, so we got all these. Um, you could get a button. button. Put it right next to it. All right, go back to tools. Let's connect. Put it on press to the execution on the left to, to the display world UI. The player to the display world UI to the left. And the target is the player world UI, which is literally right here. So, my dear friend, may you come and test this out? Now loading. <laughs> okay. Sir, rock a ball. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, you may, you may do the honors. Alright. Now it shows up on top of his head. It says hello. Yeah, you can't see oh. it, but it says hello. So that means okay that, that it has worked. So yeah, you got uh, it. And then you might you might be thinking that oh, let me just save the room and it will be saved. No, it will not work like that. You have to do like in string variables. So I'm gonna show you that. So. This is what I do. Yeah, he's so, a very um, good person, though. You sure are. So, you're going to have to unwire, crust, and player. So, this is what I like to do. I like getting a mul multiple choice. It's like a player prompt, but like choices. So, player multiple. Yeah, player prompt multiple choice. This this thing right here. We're going to place it right here. This is what I like doing all the time so you want to go to tools move it if needed so you get connect on tools press oh, press to the execution player on player and then you could configure this so like this just press on a little square then right whatever you want pro and then, like, that's the title on top. And the body is, like, the, uh, the, the description. So, write random things. I don't know what to write. He's doing some experiments, so don't, don't mind the noises yeah, back there. Yeah, I'm All just right. doing some experiments. Okay. Yeah. And we got answer choices. So, obviously, you might, you're probably gonna just press it. 
Press with your maker pen. You'll get a warning saying that you must have an answer choices. Oh, what? How do I supposed to do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All you want to do is search up list create. Let's create something like this. Okay, and we're gonna put it right on top. All right, it looks something like that. So we're gonna go tools, connect. So the one that says list, we're gonna wire up to answer choices and the player prompt multiple Place. choices. And it says mm -hmm. item right here. These are like the um answer choices. So you could put like, or so it's like the titles. So you could put hello or saved. I, I don't know. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna write saved. Configure this. Hello. There you go. So we got saved and hello. Now when you press it, you get this. This is how it looks like. So it says saved or hello. So it will not quite work yet because you still have to do this. So looks something like this and then we're gonna get tools connect the execution on great. prompt complete and the response on the left so you can name it whatever you want so we're gonna configure the string variable yeah that's just rigged we're gonna put cloud variable wait wait then you can name it whatever you want so Saved, I'm gonna put it. So when you got your string variable, wire the execution on the right to the display player world UI. So you're gonna put it right there. And then the player is gonna be on the player prompt multiple choice on receiving player. So we're gonna put it there. We're gonna put, we're gonna get a player world UI set text value. So get that out. It's set player world UI text value. So set, not get set. All right. Now we're gonna go to tools, connect the execution on the display world UI on the right to the set player world UI text value. Player on receiving player, and then the value goes on top of the saved string variable. Let me just wire that up. All right, now my test subject will be coming right now. So he has hello, so he's gonna put one of them up. You can put saved. Yep, there we go. Now it shows up as saved. So if I press it, you see there's nothing there. So if I press it, saved. You saw something Yes, happen. I see it now, there. Now you see the string variable on the Y. So you just get your connect tool. Hover over at the string variable on the right. It'll say saved. So that means it worked. So make sure you do not save the room yet because you still have to do one more step. Vent receiver. We'll place it on top. Alright, go to tools, configure. You cannot see and stuff. And then press on the event. Scroll down until you see player joined. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna go back to palette. Our player is local. Okay, honey. So it means oh, that it will hmm. only work for the player. Something like that. So the player who joined will only work for that player that joined. That's what it's basically saying. So just wire the execution on him to uh, if player is local. And then after that, we're gonna put We're gonna actually clone these. So we're gonna get your go to tools, come to select. Now you wanna select the display world UI. And the set player world UI text file and the string variable that's a saved or whatever you named it. All right, now we're gonna go to clone slash flip. And we're gonna f oh, make sure you um unselect whatever you selected. All right, now we're gonna clone it. Okay, no. I'm gonna put it aside. Mm. All right, now we have done that. Now we're gonna wire. The display world UI it on is local target to the world UI all the way down here, the constant. And then the player to the player join on the event receiver. Same thing, player on the event player joined. Alright, 
So now you just don't wire this. Don't wire this because if it's wired, it will change the uh, string to like this and it won't show anything. So now it will show if it's saved. So, so after that, you just want to save the room. Now your friend or you could press the button. So he's just a subject. He will do it. All right. Now you're going to go ahead and rejoin and you will have that text saved was it saved and there we go he joined and now it's a saved on top of his head now i don't know what that is it's, <laughs> it's not it's cap it's not cap not cap all right so that's actually how you make um title save in your rooms or word ui is save in your room when it joins so yeah just make sure Make sure if you if you did this correctly, um, if you did it, um, let me know, or if you did it wrong or something's not working, ask for help. Tell me in the comments, Discord, anything, and yeah, that's it for the world UI. And yeah, this guy's gonna have fun with a saved little world UI. Yippee. So now we're gonna get a display. Is he copying what I'm doing? Maybe. <laughs> You're not supposed to get primary color or get what you want. <laughs> oh my god.